in this lecture we will learn about memory allocation on heap okay so memory allocation on heap okay so memory on heap so what does that mean so basically if you see so your computer memory for a C++ program or any code so that memory is divided into code space okay so code space is the part of the memory where your code resides okay and the computer executes it so next comes your stack space okay so stack space this is used for your automatic variables local variables and function arguments okay that are stored what is the property of stack space you don't need to do memory management here okay so whatever variables you create here so they automatically are removed okay so the memory is taken away when the they go out of scope and then next comes so what is the disadvantage so the advantage is you don't need to do memory management disadvantage is sometimes in functions so you cannot really change the values okay the next thing is we have now registers okay so registers are special memory okay so they are used and they are in the cpu which are used for like your program counter okay so where is which line is being executed now accumulator all these are there for arithmetic operation and so on then you have a global namespace okay so global namespace so this is where your global variables are stored okay so global variables are very very good they can be accessed from anywhere in the code but the problem is that they can be changed from anywhere okay and which makes the code little bit problematic because many threads can access it many functions can access it so you should use them judiciously the last one which is very important is memory on heap okay so your stack space is constrained okay so it is the amount of stack space is less on the heap you have much more memory okay what are the benefits of stack space of the heap space first of all it has larger amount of memory okay then the thing is that it can also be so if accessed from functions okay so they don't disappear when your variable goes out of scope in a function okay so heap have larger lifespan but the problem is that they are not automatically released the memory is not automatically released and so you have to do the memory management of heap the next thing is so variables cannot be named like local variables here you need pointers to allocate memory okay so it's something like so there is a huge space okay but you cannot name them really so what you have to do is that you have to use a pointers to say that okay this memory location is used for allocation of some integer allocation of some double and so on so based on that pointer type you need to allocate those many memories okay so with our example let's see so if in a memory model where only one byte is there in one memory location so what will happen in the heap so when i say that okay i make a pointer to the memory location and that pointer is for an integer of four bytes so it will say that okay it will reserve four memory locations for it okay similarly if a double is of eight bytes okay so it will store eight memory locations for it so that's the importance of pointers here that they help you allocate memory for variables your variables in the heap space so let's see the example in star p num okay we have a pointer to number 
which is initialized to null so now it's not pointing to any of the memory location now we do i number on a stack so we make a variable which is on stack space but we make also a variable which is on the heap space okay so p num so how you do that so p num is pointed to a number okay which is stored on heap and how we store that or how we instruct the computer to do that in c++ we use a new keyword okay so new int what it will do it will allocate a space in on the heap which will have a size of int okay and besides that new will also make all the memory location as zero so now what happens pnum is a new int and the value stored in that is now zero okay so it will initialize also so now what we do of course when we have initialized so we have allocated memory space for an integer we would of course want to manipulate it okay so here star pnum is 18 so what does this mean now this says pnum is telling that okay it is storing the value where your integer is stored on heap and that value location is let's say 1000 so now what happens your integer is stored in the subsequent four bits or four memory locations okay so if you want to change the values so what you have to do now i have to use the diff referencing variable the symbol star okay and star pnum is equal to 18 so now what will be stored here is 18 so we print out see out value of inum on stack is inum its address is so you find the address of a memory of a variable using ampersand so ampersand inums on stack will give you the value now see out value of integer on heap so it's star pnum so you access the very the value stored in that pointer okay so pnum and its address also you find and you will see that okay these this address and this address are quite different okay so now what we do that okay we say that okay remove the release the memory for pnum okay so it is removed pnum the whatever memory was allocated is now removed so for allocation you use new for releasing the memory we use delete then what happens we again reassign reallocate memory for pnum okay so new int again we do so new int again it will assign memory for storing an integer variable okay now we make star pnum is equal to 301 okay so now 301 will be stored there value of the new integer is this and its address is this so few questions come to our mind so will the when we allocate new int so will both the addresses be the same i guess it might be it might not be okay so based on your computer how it allocates okay so this is there now let's try to see but a very important point is whenever on a heap you allocate some resource you need to release it yourself okay that's very important because on some constraint devices like sensors and all if you acquire memory and don't release it so it will run out of memory okay so it's important to release memory also so i hope you understand this so let's try to just run this piece of code okay so we build the code and now we run it so if you see here so value of inum on stack we declared one variable on stack inum stack value is 21 and its address is 0x28ff40 okay so that's fine now we make an integer on heap okay its value is 18 and the address you see is 0x2c1708 okay so it's very much different from 28ff40 so it means that okay they are on some different place now what we did we deleted that value we re released the resource the memory and again we do new integer and assign the value 301 again it took the same address i think 0x2c1708 okay so this way we see the memory that is there on stack so its place is quite different from the memory that is on the heap.
so i hope you understand this thanks a lot